No, so. Okay. We're live. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just checking my Facebook. I don't know. There we are. We are live. We're official. <laughs> okay, we're going to get started and hopefully some people will come in and join us. And um, I want to introduce to everybody Matt Tommy. He's been my mentor and friend for about three and a half years now. I know it's been a while, hasn't it? Yes. We're getting it's like family at this point. So. <laughs> <laughs> So I met him at a point in my life where I had been an artist for way over 20 years and just kind of felt like I was floundering. And lo and behold, he popped up on my Facebook page and I, uh, I felt this need to, to uh, find out what he had to say and what his program was about. And so he has a, a created to thrive mentoring group and uh, I can just honestly say it has changed my life oh. in a huge and positive way. Um, I've been a successful artist for over 20 years, but, and so the art's always kind of been good, but Matt has just helped me elevate it to the next level. And my personal growth has been like through the roof. <laughs> That's been the crazy part. <laughs> Isn't and, it crazy how when our when our internal life, you know, changes, yeah. then our art changes, right? I mean, that's right. the way we're designed. So, yeah, um, it's just um, it's it's just been a weird kind of thing. It's just been supernatural. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Well, so, thanks for having me, Sandra. I was in the same welcome. place. I mean, you know, for a long time myself. I mean, I think that's what started this whole thing for me years ago. I was an artist and it had a level of success. I'd been in ministry and all that sort of thing, but I just had been through a lot of junk in my life, like we all go through. And I came to a point in 2008, the economy was tanking, all this kind of stuff was going crazy. Everything that I had kind of held on to in my life was being shaken to the core financially, business-wise, spiritually, all this. And I was just like, what is going on? You know, God, what's next for me? What does it mean for me to be an artist and all this sort of thing? And I just went through the same transformation that you've been going through, which is, and so many have been going through, which is this realization that as we change what's going on internally in our heart, that all of a sudden our art begins to change, our success begins to change, our right. opportunities begin to change, all that sort of thing. And so it's been this an incredible ride. Um, you know, for me along the way. And I think the most fun part for me is that as I've been able to share the transformation that happened in my life with folks like you and others, you get to see that same thing replicated and multiplied over and over. And that's so much fun. So. Well, and then you've written a book called Unlocking the Heart of an Artist. And literally that has been what has happened with me being in your Created to Thrive program. It has unlocked something in me that you know, I've been a Christian all my life. I've been an artist for half over half my life, but you unlocked things inside of me that I just didn't know were there. And you gave me tools to use in a way I've never used before and the confidence mm -hmm. to just step out in faith and pursue what I wanted to pursue. And a lot of it, I didn't even know what I wanted to pursue. I right. was of at a you know standstill of where do I go next and you've just really taught me the concept of just trusting the process trusting yeah. God our higher power and just uh stepping out in faith and allowing him to work through us so that's been the amazing part of this journey for me it is amazing I think you know we're doing this master class right now and i asked some people um as we're getting started for it the other day i said you know what's the biggest thing that's kind of blocking you right now from stepping into you know what you really want in your life as an artist and i would say 98 percent of it <laughs> of what people are saying uh, in that group and there's a couple of thousand people in that group right now we're not even starting until the 22nd but it's amazing to me they're all linked to belief i don't believe i'm good enough 
I don't believe my art's good enough. I don't believe I can make a living. I don't think that, uh, you know, I think that the things that I've walked through in my life somehow disqualify me from stepping into this thing. I'm too old. I'm too this. I'm not enough this. I'm not enough that. And it's like the simplicity of what you just said, which is, you know, believing that what God's word said is true, that how I've been created is been, is on purpose, that if he said it, I can do it. And as I begin to walk and step out with others on that same journey and with that confidence, all of a sudden doors begin to open, faith begins to come, confidence begins to come and things begin to happen. And, you know, people are like, well, is it really that simple? I'm like, it's really that simple. <laughs> it's, it's this amazing process that happens. And I never get tired of seeing that happen in people's lives. I mean, you of all people, I mean, you've had such an incredible journey of, of transformation and this blossoming that happened. I mean, would you ever think that you'd be doing what you're doing now, say no. five years ago? No, no. I mean, and I mean, I was open. I was open for when I joined your, your mentoring group, I was open for whatever might happen, but I really had no clue. And I wasn't, I was pretty skeptical, you know, <laughs> right. but your story of brokenness and, uh, you know, just self-doubt, self-sabotage. Um, I've been through some rough times in my life with divorce, uh, um, a son that struggles with addiction and yeah. a husband to cancer, a lot of really dark times. My art carried me through it, my faith. But hearing your story and knowing the success, the success that you had, it was like, Wow, you know, if if God can use Matt Tommy in the way that He's used him, maybe there's a maybe there's a chance for me. Yeah. yeah. Now, so share with us a little bit about you, your story, what you do, that kind of thing. Yeah. So the last ten years, uh, I've been an artist all my life. I mean, you know, you can't once you is one, you can't not be one. Right? So I, I grew up as a creative kid. My mom was a professional musician in church, and so I grew up in music and the arts and all that sort of thing. Um, when I got into college, I really sensed a call to ministry and was a worship pastor for a long time. But I also had this other thing that I did that nobody really knew about, which was making baskets out of kudzu and vines. And I loved being in the woods, and I loved being out there just you know, making. And I love the fact that I could go in the woods, get a bunch of stuff that everybody else thought was junk and make something really beautiful that, that people love. And so I did that for like 15 years as a hobby while I was in ministry and also owned a marketing company in Atlanta and I helped companies, you know, develop their marketing, graphic design, web design, all that sort of thing. And like I said, in 2008, you know, uh, when the economy started tanking, everything just really started going to, you know, to use a a basket maker phrase to hell in a handbasket. I mean, mm -hmm. it, was, it was really crazy. And I was really shaken to my core. Um, and our family, you know, we had just had Cameron, Tanya was teaching. We've been married like 12 or 13 years at that point. And it was just this real time of shaking and uncertainty. And honestly, I was kind of mad on one side and yet hopeful that God maybe had something for me, but I had no idea how to even step out into that. And, um, I went into this season of just, you know, the Lord told me, he said, I want you to go home and lay on the floor and your provision is going to come like popcorn. And I'm like, what? I mean, what does that even mean? You know, but I literally went home and spent like the next six to eight weeks just crying out to the Lord about who I was, what he had called me to, all this sort of thing. And not only did he give me this vision for raising up an army of artists, which I've, I've been at for now, you know, the last 10 or 11 years all over the world and writing books and all that sort of thing. But right. he also told me that it was my artwork, my, my kudzu baskets that was going to be the mode of transportation, if you will, the mode of transformation that he was going to use in my own life to kind of give me a platform to speak into others' lives. And so baskets. literally, can you believe it? Well, I mean, it was just crazy. I was like, well, you know, cause we always process things with our natural mind first. And I mean, that's part of, you know, being renewed in the spirit is learning how to see things, how God sees them because God always speaks to our potential. He always speaks to our, our design. Right. And so for me, the next two years, what just was, I call it double doors of favor. I mean, it was just this open doors, open doors. Like as soon as I started aligning 
with who God had called me to be and what he had called me to do, it was like everything that I had been waiting for in my life, financial provision, creative fulfillment, um, divine appointments, um, the opportunity to speak into people's lives, all of that started like opening and accelerating to within the next two or three years, I went from selling like $25 kudzu baskets at some, you know, county shows and, and that sort of thing to having my work recognized by the Smithsonian started to be in magazines. My work started selling for thousands of dollars. And I'm like, Whoa, like what happened? And I went on this quest and I'm still on this quest to figure out how that happened in my life and then how I can help that happen in other li other people's lives. And, it's, and you're doing that. I tell you what. Well, that's the fun part. It's like teaching people <laughs> how the kingdom of God works and how to begin to align with that. And wow. I mean, now it's, it's this crazy story of, you know, <laughs> not only is my art still incredible and my business has been, is continues to be very successful and, and all that, but this whole mentoring side of things. Now we've, like you said, you got the mentoring program that started as kind of a side little spark that I felt like the Lord gave me. And now we're over 1200 members uh, all over the world in that plus thousands and thousands of people that follow us on the podcast every week. And it's just crazy, but I think it shows the hunger in so many people's hearts and creatives, especially to right. really step into what they believe they're supposed to be doing created by God, you know, on the inside. Well, and you know, obviously our desire as artists and creatives are to touch people in some kind of special and beautiful way through what yeah. we're creating. And and you helped me understand no one had ever in my whole life. I've always, my parents always were always pushing me and saying, good job and keep going with the art. I never had anybody hold me back. Right. But never had I had anybody present to me like you have as a mentor that God created me and you to do this as our ministry yeah. um, and, you know, to reach people in a way through our art that's positive and uh, that shines some positive light into people's lives that is so filled, especially like in today's times right now. Yeah. Darkness and fear and, you know, the uncertainty, the beauty of what we create is there to lighten their path. And yeah. um, that's that's really been amazing. Yeah, it is. It is amazing. I think it is that that convergence, you know, that we're all looking for of, you know, everything that we know that we love and that we're passionate about and this inner design and, and desire to be a transformative you know, part of, of life and culture to be used by God and however he's created us, that's, it's really empowering. And I think also to bring that together with this opportunity that, hey, you can make an authentic difference in people's lives. And at the same time, build a great business that doesn't mean you're taking advantage of your artistic gift or, or God's call on your life, but actually that's a part of it. And that as you prosper, you can be an, a, you know, a conduit of abundance to other people as right. well. And, I just, I mean, I love that about your story. You know, I remember when you, you know, several years ago came in and you're like, I started this YouTube channel and oh my gosh, I'm paying my studio rent now from my YouTube channel. <laughs> we were like, yeah, I mean, it's just like these things, you know, that happen that every time something like that happens, it still is so exciting because it's like, yep, Lord, you're continuing to show up and you're no respecter of persons. If you did it for me and you did it for Sandra, you can do it for somebody else. And that it just keeps going on. Yeah. So, yeah, if I hadn't been in your program, I would have never started a YouTube channel. And, and from there, which is, you know, over 70, almost 73,000 people. Isn't that crazy? Um, <laughs> it gave me the courage to start my own Facebook group, which is, is about 11,000 people now. And um, I, what I'm doing is trying to encourage and uplift. And it's usually women, but there are men in there too. And just to empower them to move forward from maybe something that they may consider a hobby. But yeah. they want to do more with it. And uh, with you having been in the business world and doing the baskets on the side, you know, years ago, you've got all that experience that you can share through your mentoring group. And so you have loads and loads of information that you make available. And that's why, you know, also, 
learned from you is the sharing process. Mm. So, you know, on YouTube, I, you know, I share how I'm doing my processes and um, I'm very giving to people uh, and very gracious to people about the gift that I've been given and sharing that with other people and the knowledge and uh, it's kind of like the way you do the mentoring group, you share this wealth of knowledge and experience that you've got under your belt with the, the, the people that have no experience and, uh, and don't know the next step to take. And, um, and I've even begun to just help some people uh, I love that. calls, you know, I'll have them give me a call and I'll walk them through how to set up an Instagram page or, <laughs> Just because a lot of people just don't know how to navigate through yeah. media and they don't know how to expose themselves. And, and you've really got to be a salesman for yourself. Right. That's and an advocate for yourself. Yeah. Yeah. It's a very uncomfortable feeling for most artists out there. And when I say artists, you know, we're talking about painters, sculptors, basket weavers. <laughs> Singers. This is not just about painters. This That's is right. somebody out there that has creative juices, whether they want to write or sing or whatever. Um, it's, it's so hard to want to market yourself or sell yourself. And um, it, I, you know, I've come, I can honestly say that in this program, I've kind of put that fear behind me. And I've kind of become fearless. And when you do that and when you allow God or your higher power to step in and take the lead, doors just open and things just happen that you don't you really didn't ever plan on doing, you know. And so, um, you know, I started a tutorial platform and really just didn't know how that would go. And I've got, you know, a hundred a couple hundred people in my classes that take <laughs> online classes and that is you you present things in a Christian format but there's so much business knowledge and yeah. principles for people like me that had a successful art career for 20 years but just really didn't know how to run it as a business or you know that kind of thing or you know what to do next so yeah, absolutely yeah I think that's what you know people I always find you know they sometimes come to things that we're doing like this free master class is coming up next week or, you know, get into the mentoring program or whatever it is. They come for the information, but I think they stay and really get invested because of the interaction that happens because you're taking that information and then you can walk it out with other people and you can, you know, you can have that back and forth and there's opportunity to ask questions. And I think that's what I found in my own life. At least that's what I was missing is I knew some things in my head, but I needed that back and forth. I wanted that processing with other people along the journey. To, Cause sometimes, you know, we all, I think we all kind of feel like, am I the only one? Am I the only one struggling with this or, or getting frustrated by this? And you realize, Oh, I'm not. But if you can talk to somebody who's a little bit ahead or at least on the same journey as you right. and learn from that, it's, it's really huge. And um, so, yeah, that's why we're doing this master class is actually right. coming up. Uh, Next week, it starts on the 22nd. Um, it's called Artists Rise Up. It's a five day masterclass. It's absolutely free. Um, people can come in and we're going to be talking about a lot of these principles that we cover in the mentoring program, but talking about what it means to be a thriving artist, what it means to put God at the center of your life and really change the way you're doing life and business to align with him, how to get your mindset right, um, and then how to really start taking your place and in, uh, in what you're called to do as an artist. So we definitely want to invite everybody to to be a part of that. You're already jumped in that group. I know you. Can, it's, it's really awesome. Well, I'm the, yeah, I'm there to, to support people and encourage them on. And I'm hoping that people will use my invite to jump in and take advantage of this free opportunity to get in and just kind of get your feet wet. And it is so important in this community to to know that you're not the only one and you're in a group of people that are very like-minded that are a little bit fearful, right. a little scared, a little bit don't want to come out of their shell. And, and, uh, and as you phrase it, that a lot of us have that stinking thinking. Yeah. Yeah. Mentality, and you, you know, address that so often in your weekly 
uh, uh, Q and A's and that kind of thing in the program and all. But yeah, I'm enjoy. I'm going to enjoy the master class, and um, I can't wait to see how people respond to it. And uh, I'm hoping a lot of my my peeps will come in and join. Absolutely, absolutely. So take advantage of this. And so when you come in the group, everybody say, Sandra invited me or <laughs> whatever. <laughs> That'll be awesome. I can't wait to, to see everybody. But yeah, so I think there's a link in the post right here. They can click on that and it just takes you to a little page um, where all you do is just put in your email, uh, your name and email address. That lets us send you the handbook. It's kind of a workbook, actually a printable workbook for the master class, as well as a couple of freebies. And uh, then it'll take you to a page where all the details are to get in the free Facebook group for the master class and, and all that. And uh, I mean, you can jump in immediately right now. So, right. And, you know, I, and I will throw in some freebies uh, for those people that do, you know, consider the program and get into this master class and jump in and, and awesome. want to take that next step. I'll, uh, I'll be there to help push you out of your nest and I'm <laughs> available for questions. If anybody wants to message me on Facebook and ask me anything about Matt or his, his principles or his uh, created to thrive group, I, I will be more than happy to sing the, his praises. You know, <laughs> I was like, you're going to sing? This is awesome. I will sing. I sing. It may not sound that good, but I will. <laughs> I will let it fly. So. Awesome. Well, but, thank yeah. you for letting me share about this. And again, I hope it's a huge blessing to all the folks that are following you and being a part of what, all the stuff that you're doing. It's, again, just a great opportunity to connect with other artists, get your heart refired up, especially for the fall and especially what's going on in the world right now. Yeah. I mean, I think we all need fresh vision for what it is that we're doing and to, like you said, be a positive influence in our community and in relationships and, and just to get some freshness, you know, fresh to get out of all the junk that's going on and, right. and get some fresh vision. And I hope that's going to be exactly what happens in, in the master class. So, well, I just want to personally thank you for your dedication and your time that you have put into hundreds of videos Several hundred videos, <laughs> uh, but with all your wisdom and encouragement and uh, just to everybody out there, it's just an unbelievable experience and uh, so much good, good information and uh, encouragement that literally will take you to the next level. So uh, I appreciate you taking the time uh, to do this little interview and Absolutely. I'm going to share it in lots and lots of places and I uh, hope that people will join in for the master class. When does it start? The 22nd. So they the 22nd. And even if somebody's seeing the replay right around that time or afterwards, go ahead and jump in. We're going to be going in until October the 4th. And so um, even if you see it a little bit late, hit the button, jump in and uh, you'll, you'll love it. So, yeah. Yeah, Matt's real good about if he does a challenge, he doesn't like stalk you and slap your wrist or hands and and, <laughs> and shame you if you don't get a task done or whatever. He's really good about letting you do it at your pace. And I think that's pretty important because we artists can be a little bit quirky. That's right. Uh, <laughs> I've heard that. I've heard that. <laughs> I'm one of his mastermind leaders that we do two calls a month. And, uh, you know, I really just try hard to push people out of their comfort zone a little bit. But I always tell them that, you know, Matt's not back in the corner getting ready to wait and snap you on the <laughs> doing every module and thing you're supposed to be doing as long as you're just working in the right direction and that's right. And continuing to renew your mind and get rid of that stinking thinking about you're not good enough or you're not qualified enough or that's right. whatever that might be no matter how much baggage you have in your life, you know, your, your story just spoke so strongly to me and I've got some baggage and just working through it. And my big word this past year, uh, somebody said last night, their big word was discipline. Well, my big word this year was trust. Wow. It's learning to trust God and trust the process. And yeah. when I, 
let go and have done that, it's my life has been so much easier and I've been yeah. filled with so much peace, even in this time of turmoil. So yeah. um, thank you so much for coming on here with me. Absolutely. And uh, I, when I met Matt three and a half years ago at his gathering of artisans that usually happens in the fall in Asheville, I was uh, shaking like I was meeting a rock star. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, really? I make baskets out of kudzu. I mean, this is pretty this is real. As <laughs> and some people don't know what kudzu is. It's K-U-D-Z-U. -U. Yeah. Look it up on Google. It's all over the southeast and it grows on the highways and it's the most invasive vine that grows over everything that it comes in contact with. And Matt takes that thing that's considered a nuisance yeah. and turns it into a work of art with his basket. So anyway, thank you so much. I appreciate you being here. Absolutely. Bye guys. See you later.